people that can audit code that is written or co-developed with AI. We need AI ethicists. We need even more cybersecurity professionals that are specialized in understanding what code does. We need people to develop the AI bots that we will all have. I do believe that we will have personalized assistance for different tasks. Who's going to develop all this? Who's going to be evolving these bots? There'll be so many new types of jobs. What new business models in financial services and beyond are created by AI? You know, Mirella, we, we are early, but I can see what will happen. It's a little bit similar to how digital really transformed businesses. And now today we, we talk about digitally native businesses and we understand the difference between digitally native businesses and traditional businesses that are early in their transformation journey. Yes, they are using digital tools, but not really. They don't have that culture and business model transformation. So I think today we are at a stage where we're seeing businesses adopting AI increasingly, financial services, has actually been using AI in the broad sense for a very long time. And now they're starting to use the more advanced neural networks, the more advanced machine learning and deep learning techniques, and eventually the generative AI. And what I foresee, and it's part of the discussion in a chapter that I've co-authored in a new book by Wiley called The Fast Future Blur, we're talking about what it means to be a, an AI native business. What it really means is that you go beyond just using AI for customer, for example, discovery, helping like Klarna uses AI to help customers discover better products or advise them or customer complaints or fraud in going, for example, into the enterprise. How are you using AI to manage the enterprise? Are you using AI to innovate? Are you using AI in your strategy? Are you increasing the data feedback loop? So it's a journey and we're just starting to understand the capability and it's not only generative AI, it's a mix of these AI capabilities. In a way, you alluded to my next question with the Klarna example, but I want to be insistent. So can you highlight successful real-world implementation of AI in various sectors, especially in the financial uh, sector? I mean, in financial services, there's clearly two areas that we are already seeing concrete results. One is at contact centers. We are seeing huge efficiencies because generative AI um, is empowering the contact agents. It's empowering the business because we have wrap-up notes that are very detailed and precise and we can analyze. It's also empowering in fraud. Yesterday I had a panel on that topic. AI in fraud is really a big area that we are seeing benefits by using the advanced uh, techniques. The other area that I'm seeing is a lot in investment research. Bloomberg, Bloomberg GPT is one example. We've seen more examples in that. Moody's has launched uh, a large language model trained in their knowledge base. We have also Morningstar doing something similar and offering its customers, we're talking B2B level there, not uh, a B2C, a better way, conversational, natural language interfaces 
to search for what they want. Investment research is really benefiting. Think of all the unstructured data that we have in capital markets from earning reports, from press releases and so on. That is a gold mine for generative AI and for gaining insights. So seeing that hedge funds are already benefiting. And I'm curious now because when Corona started, many of the branches were uh, yeah, taken out. And now I'm curious if AI is going to come upon us, how will the workforce be influenced? What do you think? And the workforce will change clearly, but I think that very soon we will have new types of jobs or tasks that need to be developed. Examples for that is we need people that can audit code that is written or co-developed with AI. We need AI ethicists. We need even more cybersecurity professionals that are specialized in understanding what code does. We need people to develop the AI bots that we will all have. I do believe that we will have personalized assistance for different tasks. Who's going to develop all this? Who's going to be evolving these, these bots? There'll be so many new types of jobs. This reminds me of the fact that if you look at the U.S. banking employee count, and I say the U.S. banking because it is a very big uh, market. Yes, we have seen branches closing, but if you look at the total number of employees, it has not been reduced. And there's many explanations about that. Add to that regulation, it is not going away. Who is going to be baking regulation uh, that will become even more complex as we have open banking, as we have embedded banking. We need people. People are behind these creative tools that are developed and we're just at the beginning. We need more of those. So if you are to give a, an advice or a reassurance to an employee or a business owner regarding the advent of AI, what would that be? Well, for employees, for people, the professionals, what I've been saying all along before this chat GPT boom is be curious and self-learn, upskill. There's nothing like our generation was nurtured that you get a training, then you get experience, you're done. No, forget about that. In terms of the businesses, the business people need to understand not only AI, they need to understand all the technologies AI is a general purpose technology, but we have other trends that are very important, be it the metaverse, be it robotics, be it the changes in mobility, the changes in health, and all these that are all converging. This is the complexity that is increasing and technology is making that complexity faster. We need to be able to use AI to hack complexity, business complexity. That's what I think. So business leaders should be thinking like that and also to take this opportunity to move away from a task-oriented economy to a people-centric economy. People and employees are also consumers and people. Build value around your people. That is the way to build a sustainable business and really talk about profit that is not only financial but economic. Great. Thank you, Effie. Thank you.